Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. I just got my Wi-Fi fixed, my internet fixed. Um, so we're finally getting out the earth signs. It's been a slow go the last few days. Just trying to get a reading out was taking hours and it usually doesn't take that long. So finally we're on we're full speed ahead here, I hope, if everything worked out well. The guy just left, so I had to be up on at Sunday morning, the crack of dawn, because the, in, the uh, I guess you would call him the cable guy, I don't know, the internet guy, was here at 8 o'clock in the morning. All right, so I'm up early. Anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, this is the Capricorn reading. It's for October 13th. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork right now. I can't even think straight. October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that are going to watch this reading on YouTube. Move that mouse or I'll hit it. For anyone with Capricorn placements, this is for anyone who has any Capricorn placements, feel free to attach to this reading. October 13th to the 19th, 2019, Capricorn reading. What's most important here, Spirit? What's most important? Wow, Capricorn starting out with a tower, huh? need to know here, please. Is that all we're going to have is one big tower? This is way too many. All right. Yep, that's good. All right. Capricorn. Let's get a few more going for Capricorn here, please. darn sure we're, we're, we're dealing with some kind of re relationship here for sure with the two of cups in the middle and the six of cups here as you know the soulmate card or the card of the past and judgment there's definitely um something relationship based here wow oh my gosh all right wow so i'm gonna go back a little bit because like you have literally had lack of wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups in the reverse and the star card in the reverse there's a lot of wish fulfillment not happening here you also have the ten of pentacles reverse this is your foundation sometimes it's your home and family whatever your foundation is to you could be work for some people in the reverse so two wish fulfillment cards in reverse your foundation's all messed up you have the three of swords here. Oh, yikes. All right, now, you've walked away from something here with the um, eight of cups. Something emotional. Choosing a new direction with the two of wands. But now we have the chariot where everything's kind of on hold. Like a everything kind of stopped. You walked away, chose a new direction, and... Now, could this be a cancer that you're dealing with, with the chariot here that's stopped, not moving forward? You're getting the tower here as we come into this reading. This has all been like a tower moment for you, whatever's going on. Now, with the nine of wands here, I feel like you're definitely keeping your guard up. You're making sure that you defend yourself from whatever it is that's coming at you or whatever it is that... Um, you're not happy about here. 
See how she's kind of running away from whatever it is. This is like, you know, making sure you take care of you. And we have the magician here and we have judgment here. These, you have a lot of pretty big cards here. I mean, bottom of the deck, we have the reverse chariot. We also have the tower, the magician, judgment. Yeah, so I feel like you are, are you trying to reconcile with someone? Are you trying to manifest coming back together in a relationship? Or is someone else around you trying to do that? With the seven of cups reversed, I feel like you're gaining some clarity. And I, the thing is, the clarity you're gaining, this is always my third party card. I mean, just look at it. I just happen to, you know, use this deck. To, this deck has this card in it. See how he's trying to, he already has one girl with her arms tied up here. And she's kind of in La La Land. And he's trying to drag this person into it. So, I feel like, and it is in reverse. So, I feel like you're gaining clarity around a third party situation may have already happened. I don't know if it's happening right now or if it already happened. I feel like now is when you're gaining the clarity around something that's been going on with this third party. Someone was very insincere with the um, Page of Cups. It's in the reverse. So, you're gaining clarity around an insincere situation with another person, a, a third party. Somebody who brought in a third party or something like that. This has been a tower for you. Definitely has to do with the relationship. All right, let's get on this. Let's start clarifying. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please bring some clarity through for this Capricorn reading for anyone with Capricorn placements. For October 13th to the 19th, 2019, what are the most important things here that we need to know for the people that need this reading the most, that need the information the most, please send through the most important messages for the people that are going to watch this on YouTube and be drawn to this reading. Please help me clarify the cards I've already laid down. Alright, why is the tower here? Oh. Why is the tower here, please? Capricorn reading. Why is the tower here? The tower. Three of wands, not moving forward, just like the chariot. Let me pull out the chariot. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong way. Chariot. I want to know about more about the chariot. So this n not moving forward is actually what's causing a tower. This chariot's causing the tower. Why is the tower here? I mean, why is the chariot here in reverse, please? Capricorn reading. Why is the chariot reversed? Nope. Didn't like the way that came out. Why is the chariot here in reverse for the Capricorn reading, please? There's something here that's not moving forward, but it's actually causing this problem. Why is the chariot here reversed? Capricorn reading. There we go. Wow, it's the Queen of Cups. It is. It's a Cancer. There's a Cancer who's not going to move forward. There she is. So, Cancer. Okay, Queen of Cups reversed and the chariot reversed. That's a Cancer. This is why. They are only giving themselves love right now. Four of Cups. This person's healing. This person is going through... Um, the, this Four of Cups in this deck is different than any other deck. In other decks, the universe is trying to send somebody a new opportunity. They're trying to give them, here's your Ace of Cups, please take it. And they're being very stubborn. Not in this deck. In this deck, they do take the cup but they keep it for themselves. It's part of their journey. It's part of self-love that's needed. All right, so we have a Cancer here who's not moving forward, but for good reason. They're healing. They're going through something where they need to only give love to themselves, and they're not moving forward, and this is causing someone a tower moment. Could be a Scorpio. 
could be you, Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, you could be the you could be the one with cancer in your chart as well. So this can be you going through the tower moment because the cancer isn't moving forward, or you could be the cancer. Ha you probably have it in your chart. I mean, it's pretty clear though that it's a cancer, really. All right, it could be um, you. You might have it somewhere in your chart. Um, if not, just apply the story. Someone's not moving forward and it's caused in a tower moment. Let's look at this Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? Why? Capricorn reading. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Nine of Wands. <laughs> All right, so the Nine of Wands came out in reverse, though, to clarify the Nine of Wands. Now, if you look closely, look at the person hiding behind the tree. It's as if they're hiding from any trouble coming at them. All right, somebody wants to be able to let their guard down in this situation. They're sick of having to defend themselves. They're sick, sick of having to protect themselves, whatever this is. Let's look at the magician. Why is the magician here? Nope. Sorry, guys. Totally, I'm zoning on other things in the reading and not even paying attention. Okay, focus, focus. Magician. Why is the magician here, please? Why is it here? i got to stay focused on that magician. Somebody's manifesting something here. Why is this magician here for the Capricorn reading? Here we go. Two of Pentacles. All right, so, yes, yeah, somebody is, well, this Two of Pentacles is very interesting to me because it's kind of like that endless loop, something that never ends. See that, um, I guess it's like the eternity sign or whatever. I mean, it's just focused on this thing that goes over and over and over, generation after generation is what I feel when I see this. Because it's like the mother, the daughter, and maybe even a granddaughter or two daughters. I don't know. It feels like, I always feel when I see this card, like it's almost generational. Like this endless cycle. All right, let me get one more on the, um, on the magician. What's the magician doing here with the two, this particular two of pentacles? Why is the magician here? Magician. Here we go. Six of Cups, it's about a soulmate relationship. But with it being in reverse, things might not be very happy. You have the Six of Cups here, too, in the upright. Here it is in the reverse. Now, I can't help but notice, but in both cards, there's children. Sometimes the Six of Cups has to do with children. This is in the reverse. So, I told you I felt this was generational. I feel like this is something... Somebody is trying to manifest something different to carry on through the generations in their family. I feel like, you know, sometimes we get really caught up um, in this generational thing of this is what my mother did, this is what my grandmother did, this is what her mother did, this is what my father did, this is what my father's father did, and this is what my great-grandfather did. You know, this generational thing thing that we get caught up in. I feel like someone is coming in trying to manifest something different that can also be generational. Like, I'm going to change this generational, whatever it is, habit, thing, um, way that we've been doing this for all these years, generation after generation. I literally have had this come up twice this week. For well, I had it come up in a private reading as well. If you resonate with this, you'll know what I mean. All right, now, somebody wants to change things. I feel like maybe even for their children's sake. Like, we're going to start doing this differently because I don't want my kids going through this. All right, let's look at the... Um, Let's look at judgment here. Why is the judgment card here, please? Why is it here? Capricorn reading. Why is judgment here? 
Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. This is that fulfillment in your foundation that was lacking at the bottom of the deck here. Remember, I went back just far enough to see it in reverse. This was where the Ten of Pentacles was reversed. Here it's in the upright. So, I feel like someone is trying to reconcile something here. Let me get, um, I'm going to go right to the Six of Cups. I feel like that's part of this. Six of Cups, why is it here, please? Why is this Six of Cups here, please, Capricorn reading? Tower. I knew it was important to this. All right, so... All right, I want to get one on the tower. Why is the tower here with the Six of Cups? Why is the tower here with the Six of Cups? There's definitely something coming into a, a halt here. Um, we have the Two of Swords, and it did come out in reverse. So someone's made a decision about a soulmate relationship, possibly their children, something having to do with... Um, I really feel something generational almost. This could have to do with your kids. Someone's made a decision. Let's see if we could get to the bottom of it. What is the Two of Swords doing here in reverse with the Tower? Why is the Two of Swords here reversed with the Tower? Capricorn reading. Wow. Oh my God. Listen, this two of cups. I mean, this ace of cups is different than other aces of cups. This is like regeneration. What I was just talking about were re, regenerational regener regeneration. These are little tiny skulls coming out of the cauldron. Okay. Giving life back up into the universe. This is a totally different kind of Ace of Cups. I don't see this as a real lovey-dovey Ace of Cups. For me, this is like something new and um, exactly what I was talking about. I feel like someone is changing things. Let me get into this Two of Cups here in the middle. Why is the Two of Cups here? For and You know, the Two of Cups can be completely platonic. But we're going to, and it can be love as well. So we're going to look deeply into this. Why is this Two of Cups here, please, for the Capricorn reading? Two of Cups. Why is it here? Three of Cups. Three of Cups is here as well. Third party here, remember? All right, so we had the third party that came out as well. And this Three of Cups is really a nice Three of Cups. But... Um, you know, it's all about growth. These ladies are tying a ribbon around the tree, uh, working together. But um, with it coming out with this, I'm not sure what we got going on here. So I'm going to look into this a little more. Why is the Two of Cups and Three of Cups here together, please? Why are the Two of Cups and Three of Cups here together for the Capricorn reading? Sincerity came out with the um, Knight of Cups, but it came out as a challenge on its side. So do we have, now the Knight of Cups can be a, a legitimate offer or it can be an insincere offer. It's coming out as a challenge. So have we had this offer to be involved in a third party? Somebody's changing the way that this, oh my gosh. All right, so what I'm feeling, this is exactly what I'm feeling, is that somebody has grown up in a home where I feel like, gosh, this is going to be such a specific reading, Capricorn. Somebody's grown up in a home where cheating, third-party stuff, and all that has really been a part of life through generations, like um, parents did it, grandparents did it, this is just something that was normal, you know, whether it was a father or a mother or whatever it was. But anyway, so I feel like somebody wants to change this. 
they don't want this to be their way of life. Um, they don't want their kids to grow up seeing this sort of thing. This is such a specific message. So you guys are going to have to tell me who this is for. They want to change it. They want something. They want a new way of doing things. A new generational norm for their family. They don't want this old stuff and they're bringing the tower down on it. All right, I need to look deeper into all this. What is the Seven of Cups? Why is the Seven of Cups here in reverse? This is gaining clarity, too, on this third-party thing. What is the Seven of Cups doing here? Reverse, please. Clarity. Wow, you are really getting clarity. Both cards say getting clarity. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Reverse. Both of these mean gaining clarity. I'm getting clarity on this. All right, let's look at the Three of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here, please? Whoa, there it goes. All right, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse here, please? Capricorn reading. Here we go. Wow, a lot of fighting and a lot of insincerity. Look at this Five of Swords. I mean Five of Wands. Fire-breathing dragon. You are dealing with somebody harsh. You're dealing with the fire-breathing dragon. There's no um, sincerity here with the Page of Cups. Insincerity. So somebody either did not apologize, or it was an insincere apology, or an insincere offer. So whatever this third party thing is came from a very insincere offer and might have caused a big old blowout. Big fight. All right, let's look at the... Um, now, it could also be the fact that other people are getting involved with this Five of Wands, but this Five of Wands really looks like it's fiery. It's fiery. All right, let's look at... An, you have insincerity, insincerity, insincerity. Wow, a lot of insincerity going on here. No wonder there's two towers in your reading as well, Capricorn. Let's look at this um, knave or page of cups reversed. More insincerity. Why is the page of cups reversed here, please? Capricorn reading. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something didn't come in as well. So you might be waiting for some kind of an apology and you haven't even gotten one. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here with the Page of Cups reversed? Why are they both reversed here like this? Yep, Hierophant. Okay, love this Hierophant card. It's beautiful. The Hierophant is showing this child how to work with the universe. Beautiful. All right, so this is definitely something that has not come in. Um or that came in so slow, ended up being very insincere. It has to do with um, a relationship of some sort here with the Hierophant here, the Two of Cups here. There's several cards here indicating the Judgment card here. Um, there's many cards here indicating that this is some kind of a, a relationship or a um, contract between people, bet some kind of a contract. Now keep in mind, this can be a physical contract or this can be a spiritual contract. Something is definitely blowing up, blowing up. Yeah, and there's definitely three people involved because we have so many three people cards here. Three people. Three people. people this is all about a third party of some sort now keep in mind third party doesn't always have to be love third party can be some kind of interference that literally caused I mean I feel like a big ending in something where someone just said nope I'm not moving forward I'm done with this 
You guys are going to have to tell me what in the heck is going on here. All right, let me get you a few after tarot and see where this heads to. I do feel for some of you, this is going to be a generational thing, too. Something where someone's just like, no, we're not going to continue doing this. This has been going on in, the, you know, my family or their family for years and years and years, and I'm done with it. All right, so... All right, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. October 13th to the 19th, 2019, Capricorn reading for anyone with Capricorn placements. What comes next in this situation? What happens next here? Wow, good, that's good, really good. What else? What else can I can we expect next for this Capricorn reading? What else can we expect next for this Capricorn reading? What comes next in this situation? Wow, nice. One more. Gotta love strength. Okay. Wow. Interesting. All right, so you're gonna heal. You're gonna heal. And you're gonna have the strength to get through this. You're gonna heal from it. This three of Swords here, that's after the swords fall out and you start to heal. It's all bandaged up, right? You had the three of swords right there in the upright, very painful. Somebody really did you dirty. You're going to heal and you're going to have the strength to get through this. You're going to walk away. Walk away from it. Somebody is walking away here from this situation. This page of wands walks away. And you're going to dump the burdens. Somebody is going to literally dump all those burdens. And when they're done, they end up with the Ace of Wands. A brand new beginning. This is the ending and the beginning all in one card. Here is your completion. Graduation day. You're going to complete a big cycle where you learned a lot of lessons. Went through a lot of high times, good times, bad times, horrible times. And lessons were learned that you're going to take into your new beginning and you're going to really make it the best new cycle ever because you've learned so much. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. Let's grab you a couple of angel cards here for angel advice, please, for anyone with Capricorn placements. Angel advice. Communication came out. Look at that. And this one fell out. Creativity. A lot of wands here, too. That's creativity. And what you end up with, the Ace of Wands, that's a new beginning in creativity. All right. Creativity, communication, willingness. All right. So there's got to be some kind of commu communication and a creative way of doing something differently, I feel like. Let me get one more. Flexibility. Willingness and flexibility kind of go hand in hand. All right, guys, whatever that means to you, I do feel like you're going to have to have some kind of communication about this third-party thing. Get creative about whatever. Now, for some of you, this might not be um, like a sexual third-party, but for most of you, it probably will be. But, um, you know, an intimate third-party for some of you, it could be something totally different. So let me know if this is like a third party in another area of your life. Somebody butting in, getting involved. Could be someone's family members getting involved. Could be any any kind of third party disruption. Anyway, guys, let me know how this goes for you. I'm very curious. Um, comment down below. It helps us exchange that energy and bring you into the readings. Also, if you like the reading, if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up for me, I appreciate that too. Okay, guys, have a good week. Bye.